Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath, and in this video we're going to be dealing with nuclear fallout. have not dealt with this in a very long time. I actually can't remember when I actually had a fallout disaster. So we're going to need to harvest crops on open fields, stockpile iodine pills to treat radiation sickness, and I've got 102 for 343 colonists. Bit of an issue. Build more medical facilities or assign more workers to existing ones to help those who are in need got some trade deals that are available maybe we should trade for some iodine let's go ahead and do that uh no iodine no iodine i do see electronics i also see antibiotics here at little anvil let's go ahead i'm gonna grab all those and i can actually probably trade some fun boxes for this i'll send them 33 fun boxes gonna get some more coin it's gonna just further bolster what we're getting from them and that was a little anvil let's go to Junkton they have electronics which always is always 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 needed here don't need medicine because I'm producing my own could send them bread but also send them flour I'm sitting on quite a bit of flour at the moment there I'll send them two coin 50 flour and they're gonna send me 32 electronics that sounds like a very very good trade I got two other trades that started up in the last video that are going and I now have 450 available housing. Ended up getting this little section built out. Got a new mess hall done up. Slapped on a new water tower. I have eight specialists that are hanging out, ready to go. That's the wrong button. And for Miss Survivors, let's see. A ragged bunch. Wow. Slowly towards the gate. He's a good scientist. But also, we get us we we get a specialist. Okay, none of them going hostile. That's good. All right, now Entwerf, nine attack, so he's automatically worse off than Turbine. So this. Wait a minute. I'm not. I need an engineer. I know that. And if I recall correctly from a previous video. Where were you going? Okay. They're already on route. So last video, I believe I built a desert outpost out here, maybe? I think I need to get one more desert outpost built, so I'm not... Entwerf is going to be that person. I know that. I'm going to make sure. I'm, I'm like 99.999% sure that that's the case um also fairly sure i need to get some more battery pack ups built just because it's gonna be needed just have a feeling it's gonna be needed we slap down some batteries right in this area maybe so let's do that large battery racks okay you guys can be built on one oh are you kidding me jeez Perfect. Can build three battery racks. We have all. We have more than enough components for all of that. Um, the, honestly, the lowest air quotes thing we have right now is electronics at 82, 24 pollution, and we have 10 antibiotics. The antibiotics are going to be a problem. So we got medicine, antibiotics, and that being okay. Perfect. And then down here, we're making our. How many herbs do we have? 346 herbs. All right, I'm going to switch one and probably build another couple of these guys to specifically do herbs. So I got herbs, herbs, peanuts, peanuts. And I do think that we need to get some more herbs going. Damn. Just one, because this one's just out of range. I'm going to speed up time get us to the point where the fallout is like a few hours away maybe like four and then i'm gonna get those guys going note bunch of deer some happy little deer right here trade convoys arrived that's good we're five hours left i'm gonna order harvests on everything i was actually almost done being harvested and you guys are planting so i'm actually gonna have you guys cancel planting ops Harvest now. You're... Got a third person off of the harvest. 
corn. You're waiting for a worker to harvest. And for there, and wow. Actually almost got full yields on our soybean crops. That's very, very helpful. All right, four hours left. Most of these places will not get harvested before the disaster hits. So we should be in pretty good shape. And this guy's just waiting on some metals. Let's go ahead and twerf. Welcome to the colony. You're going to build this thing for me real quick. Large, first large battery rack is now finished. Looks like multiple, looks like all three of the battery racks are done. Right, nuclear fallout has arrived. A period of intense radiation and heavy rain. I'm going to hook you into the grid and we're going to select Arabs. Oh, shit. I forgot to do these guys. I always forget these ones. I always, always, always forget this. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. I forgot about water. Wait. Okay, so the water pumps that are not operational, which is a big problem because I have a lot of water pumps. If I need to build more drilled wells, then I may need to go that route. The bore wells are not restricted by soil, so these can actually be placed pretty much anywhere. It's like right there, I can build a bore well. In fact, I'm going to put a bore well there. What's the production on these guys? Plus 25 water. Hold up. So, water pump is 40 and takes 7 power. Yeah. Bore wells actually seem to be... And I was ignoring these for a bit. Again, this kind of tells you what I'm dealing with. It would make sense to actually do a lot of bore wells. To make sure we've got plenty of food. Concrete extractor contaminated. How are you not in the radius of a maintenance depot, dumbass Steve? Previous video... Built it and staff it. All right, watering merchant. A van's parked outside. Mm. A man dressed in eccentric clothing steps out and opens the back, revealing a small collection. I was really of hoping he'd have iodine pills. Um, I'm gonna actually go just give him corn because I'm sitting on 1,300 corn. It's kind of hoping it'd have something else to deal with on that guy, but apparently not. 70 colonists, 60, yo, giggity colonists are radiated. Get some mutated colonists. A little bit of tea as I uh, continue this. My legitimate concern is the amount of water that I'm going to have or not have. Yeah, we now have pretty much every colonist is ready is going to take our iodine pills. And I'm producing as much as I can. That's actually really helpful. Um, let's make sure we have a maintenance depot covering it. It is covered by a maintenance depot. Hell yeah. Alright. So, here's a thought. I could just put a bunch of bore wells, like, right here. I've been looking for something to put in this area for a bit. Can I put, like, one... Oh, wait, can I do that? Seriously? Yes! Is this effective? No! Does it look kind of cool? Maybe. But I do like the idea of putting in a bunch of extra wells. They're all going to be drawing from the same spot, but it's all going to be producing, you know, water that I really need. This, this is actually really good. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, there's actually no coverage for some of these. So I'm going to cancel these three. And the disaster's over. Hooray. I'm going to cancel these three constructions and just work on these five. A lot of folks are glowing. 
burning through our iodine pills, which is alright, because again, we're producing them locally. Well, once we get the resources. We've got the resources right here, by the way. I think all of our iodine pills, yeah, all of our iodine pills are actually stored right here. Now, speed, keep time going super, super quick, because we're waiting on this engineer to get to where they need to be. It looks like they're three cycles out. I'm also just going to come back once that's done. While waiting for my engineer to arrive on site in the desert ecosystem, I'm also going to start doing the upgrades to these houses, these heated two-story house upgrades. I've got the materials to upgrade them. I also have the space, the free space, left over to move those folks into other facilities while they're being, while they're being upgraded. Got that. We've had some colonists dying of old age. I think I had a couple die of radiation sickness. Um, you mentioned that last moment and now. Uh, I want to make sure. Happiness is at minus four. And I think I can definitely get that number into the positives and keep it up there. I do want to maybe put down... So I got a shrine here. That was not... Oh, that was the, that was the shrine. Whoops. Uh, the wandering merchant has returned. But let me put like a memorial here. I want to have this area have its own stuff going on. So I need medicine if I can get it from this guy. A big van stands by the gate. The back has been opened, revealing an assortment of miscellaneous... I'll work. actually take the five medicine. Not what I was hoping. I was kind of hoping for pills, iodine pills, antibiotic pills, those things. Helpful things. All right. He's on site. Uh, for this one... This one could do ecosystem, but I'm probably going to go life support because I don't have a life support one. Wow. 99%. Scorching heat makes it hard to breathe in these barren areas, but the same knowledge can't be gathered anywhere else. The desert is covered in impact craters. Observing their size and their shape and size reveals what kind of objects created them. The craters are too small to be made by comets, but they match well if the object was a mid-sized asteroid, maybe shrap or shrapnel from the shattered moon. It appears that Earth was actually not hit by the largest of the objects. Hundreds of millions of lives were lost during the first, week, first weeks after it all started. However, most of humankind perished in the following years, but not because of catastrophes. They perished because people had no more empathy. Oh wow, this being on election day, that says something. This video is coming out on election day in the United States. If you haven't voted yet, um, you really need to. This is kind of the last day to vote. With a new knowledge, the last obstacles have been removed, and the work can continue. Hopefully everyone can last a little longer. It has been a long road to get here. Thank God it is not the first line from that crappy theme for Enterprise. The project has not only given hope to the people in the colony, but the people have made the colony their home. This is no longer a colony of survivors, but a small town on the frontier. We can only, one can only hope that one day this will become the first city in the wasteland. And it's being built again. Woo! Phase three. All right, keep gathering knowledge. That's all it says. With a new knowledge, the last That's it. So, yeah, we're just going to continue and keep building stuff out. The homes have been built up here, the heated two-story homes. Well, one of them has. There we go. Uh, let's see. Make sure I got power. I don't have power connectors out here, so I'm going to need to build a transformer. I don't think this house is connected, so we're going to build this transformer to get it all going. Yep. Yeah. No, wait. He is connected. Never mind. Memorial was built, increasing happiness, just a skosh more, actually at a perfect balance of zero. Um, this boosted burner, though, I want to swap this out and make that a industrial radiator. Okay, we're right in a spot. We're going to start pretty much slowly doing all these upgrades, this boosted burner. I'm going to swap it out. To make it an industrial radiator. And then I don't think I have any radiators out here, so this probably just be a standard radiator in this area. Also, no connections out this way. So they, I may have to build something out this way. If I wanted to upgrade these guys into lumber yards, I would need to build a transformer. Hey, 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 you know what's coming. Build a transformer out there so we can increase the amount of wood we're getting. 
All right. Upgrading you to two-story house. And you. And you. We're going to do th these three in a row. Then we'll do these four next. We're running on a slight deficit of power. Just telling me, hey, 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 more power is needed. More wind turbines. Hey, look, big old spot where we can slap down a bunch of wind turbines. I think this area is going to go probably out like this. And then probably expand back this way. So let's get that working. You go like that. There's a new quest available. Bunker busting again. Okay, I got something blocking. Oh, there's berries here. There's a food storage. There's a food storage way down here, I think. Yep. Didn't realize I had any berries left. I thought I collected them all. All right. I'm gonna cancel this construction for both of them for the moment. Because I kind of want this to be cleared first. Actually, I could go like four out this way. So that was a mistake to cancel. My bad. One. Oh, I didn't cancel construction on it. It was already being built anyway. Yay. Got a new specialist, we'll grab them. Donna, a scout. I don't need any scouts. But I will need engineers, so. An older colonist has a story to tell. Her late father used to work as a quartermaster in the military before the world went haywire. So this is a quest we've seen before. I want to have a scavenger, a scientist, and I want to move this work area. Get a car ready. Yeah, so I want my scientist and my scavenger. Yeah. All right. Now the bunker is way back up here at the colony and west. Thankfully, this car is 15 moves, so we can get there a lot faster. And Zari's going to be the person what going in. The site looks very similar to the one discovered by the, described by the colonists, but it's been thoroughly pillaged. There is, however, a suit-covered government nuclear safety bunkers folder on the floor with more locations. So we got to go back to the colony, which is fine. Once this cycle ends, we'll put Zari in the car, run it over here, and we'll send her into there as well. In the late game, you can tell. It gets very, very quick doing quests. As long as these guys are hooked up to the network, I'm okay. The second bunker, cycle ready. Huh? In you go. Come on back this way. What you need? Yes. In you Found go. Something. Bunker is located deep in the wasteland. The front door has been busted open, suggesting someone's already been here. Probably me. Going further in, the specialist comes across a small control room with a second vault-like door covered in dents and scorch marks. Since that's why I brought the scavenger and the scientist, I want the scavenge. Damn, it's only science. So, 800 science, which I don't need, and 300 coins, which I do need. 300 coins always good. I'm just going to send that car back, What's and then Zari, next cycle, she can just walk back to the colony herself. She's in good shape. we got 350 colonists right now. Let's check on our homes. Wow, that was quick. I do acknowledge that I'm running through materials right now, especially parts and my components, because they're going to be needed. So I do think I need some more uh, mechanic shops built up, and I think a specialized area just for mechanic shops maybe needed like right here this looks like a good spot for some mechanic shops or conversely could build out this way there's a big old section where i'm not doing much 
I've got a concrete extractor and a metals extractor that need to be built. Let's actually do those two while I'm here. Concrete extractor and a metals extractor. You can put those two out there. Then I could probably put some materials out there. Also need to slap a maintenance depot down in this area. So let's actually do all of that in one spot. There's no power out here yet. Can you fit back there? You can, actually. Hi. I'm going to do those four mechanic shops. And then from there, something just came down. Right there looks good. Because this um, transformer, when I click on it, it's going to be able to get most of these houses. This one house may need an extra transformer just to connect everything. Because it looks like there's going to be some gaps in the field. I should select a different uh, location for the transformer. I'm going to put it like down here. Behind this house. If I do it like that, I think, keyword, this should have range over everything. Yeah. That's right, I did build a road down this way behind the houses. So this guy's needing a hookup. He'll be connected via this guy. And there we go. This guy's going to need a decon. So meaning we're going to need some maintenance depots out here. Here we go. Hey, look, a maintenance depot that fits right next to where it is. That was in English. Shut up. I'm going to put two maintenance depots down. Let me get one for both of them. All right. All right, I need yep. you out here. All right, so... These are all heated two-story homes. Love it! I'm gonna need people here, people here, people here. And this one's once this one's built, we're gonna need people there. Alright, now we've got four more facilities building parts. And parts is definitely a problem for me at the moment. Also having problems with colonists dying. Um, a lot of them are just dying of old age. So, you... Welcome. Do you want to maybe do, like, another survivor outpost over here? Not going to lie. But I want to keep the... These eight I want to keep. Entwerf and Donna, I could probably get away... Putting elsewhere. And note that I'm getting a lot of contamination out here because I did not... Uh, order decon. Or build maintenance depots out here, so I'm running into that problem. You, this concrete extractor is actually depleted, so we're actually going to demo this guy. We're going to get how much back from him? Metal, parts, and components. Okay. okay. Your work area is going to be, like, here. And then this work area will be over here. Running very low on people to, uh... Work on stuff, but... Even I was, I'm kind of surprised that the Doomsday Bunker, the phase three of it, was actually going to be kind of built up around. And I wanted to tell him, like, if you got to go somewhere, run to the back of the colony and it'll be there. But having it as a centralized location and building around it does make sense. Yeah, we're getting colonists dying of old age. Hey, survivors at the gate. I've got 105 rooms available, or 105 beds available, and 10 specials ready to kick your ass if you do something stupid. All right, let's go. The door closed and they're still and they just walked right through it. Whoops. It may also be maybe something because of how the game is going. How are my tools? That's also why I'm ripping through all my parts. But like I'm making durable tools for everything. And I still have oh, and I got my ten from another colonist. Or from my other uh area. 
I got the 10 more folks joined, so I'm up to 19 now. Runners. And this school back here, this one is operational? Yep. With the number of kids I've got, I'm also at like 50 kids, so in theory I should have 7 schools. I have like 6. If I want to free more folks up, I could build automated extractors for some of these things. Like, this one has 7,300 rating on it. This one has 9,000 metal. And this concrete boss has 9,000. So I, if I wanted to, I could just upgrade them. Go auto extractor. Go auto extractor. Sounds like a very good idea for both of them, mind you. It's going to take most, about half my parts to do that. But it's going to free up more workers and get them working elsewhere in the colony. If I need to build stuff real quick, if I need to carry stuff, you know, you need to get stuff moved around, that's where the opportunity is going to come into play for it. Let's go check on our power situation because I did build those four up over Nya. Yep. The berries are still being picked, so once the berries are clear, we should, keyword, uh, be able to get that stuff into the grid. We got our battery packs that are hopefully fully charged. Yep, we're at 36,000 extra power. Good in case we get another winter storm coming in. Got more sunflower. We got more oil being produced. That's good. Don't need fuel. Do not need fuel right now. I think I was seeing... I was looking at a... I guess it was a mod for this game. We could have like a, oil, like a fuel fire power plant. And I was like, oh, that, that, that kind of makes sense. And it's like... Or... Nuclear, maybe? I can't remember. But I know there's some really good mods for this game. And this game is before the new Shattered Hope DLC came out. I'm not going to do a Shattered Hope playthrough. Um, I see the numbers on this channel, on this videos, this series, and how many people have been watching it. No sarcasm. Um, we have the game. So this series will not continue past uh, once the bunker is built. Usually aggressive group I'm threatening you. Get the hell away from my colony, assholes. Should have made sure all ten were at the all four were at the gate, because uh this person's gone. Amazing that the fortress gate can still take a beating every single time. I believe I have Yep. Three protective clothing. That's good. 204 coin, one automatic rifle, but I also need 230 concrete to fix it. Hey, look, um, I have a bunch of concrete right here in the stockpile. Just go ahead and grab it, please. Run it down here and fix my gate. Love it. Um, no, we have no, we have, we're having co children born. This is good, but now we're like, okay, need the, we're going to get that, you know, we're going to need homeless shelter. We're going to need shelters. Like, no, we don't. We're fine. All right, so two story, two story. Two. Okay, these three are next. No, these two are next. And we'll probably stop from there as well. We have a message from the life support outposts. New revelations. The colony has received a message. While building a bunker, it is necessary to remember that the human psyche does not cope well with forced confinement. Even with limited free time, people still yearn for hobbies and social activities. Increase energy production by another 5%. I'll take that. And so now, these wind turbines that started at 32, they're now producing 34. Look at those soybeans. That's going to be really good for us. And the soybeans is under this guy. We have, tw wow, 2,000 soybeans. And hopefully they're being put to use. I do have the materials to make this medical lab, and I'm thinking about doing it. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and resume production on this medical lab. That way we can produce, if we need to produce herbal medicine, which I don't think we do at the moment. We have 845. It's more, I can use the herbal, like, double up on any one thing that we need to be producing. But as long as you're producing everything at the same time. So we got auto extractors going here and here, and this is a magnetic separator that we can upgrade to here. This guy's already upgraded to max. Uh, 
How much junk do I have? I'm sitting on 4,000 junk. So yeah, I'm going to actually upgrade to Magnetic Separator on this guy. It's going to burn through more of my electronics. But being able to produce rare metals to make electronics, you kind of see where it's going here. And there's a 10,000 deposit metal back there. I just don't, this is the problem, I don't need the junk. The junk really just needs to be put into these guys. So, I mean, almost want to put like a junk depository right back here somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually right now. Alright, general storage. And we'll put that right next to this guy. This is just going to be for junk. I just want junk stored in here so it can be brought over to these four shops and used immediately. It's going to also take about 2,500 junk out of these stores. Yeah, this one has... This one actually allows junk. But moving it elsewhere would be very helpful too. Uh, medical lab is built, which means I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. And for this one, I'm thinking we're going to start with antibiotics. Because we're going to need fuel for it. So now we're doing that. We're doing the magnetic separator. So we're just getting rare metals and metals. If I wanted to, I could also just go metal and scrap. But considering how much is down here, I'm going to get plenty of rare metals out of this. Most likely enough to get us through the end of the game. 80% now on life support, 75% on defense and ecosystem. Medicine is going to get us there here in a second. Slow the game down just a skosh, because we've been running, I think, full bore the entire playthrough. I also didn't see what building was damaged by that falling thing. So we're going to go for junk and just allow junk only, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just ordering junk in this one. That's all that should be stored here is junk. That plastic needs to get the hell out. Because I didn't request plastic. I, I cleared everything else out. Oh, wait, no. Plastic can go. There it is. The plastic just got kicked out. It's on the street now. There we go. Junk's now being moved over here, which means the junk can be brought over here that much faster and producing that for us. Cool beans. All right. Let's see if I can get this guy up to 75% and then I will put a cut in the video. We're growing herbs, that's good. We got more power being produced, that's very good. I don't know if I want to build the other insect farms, I mean they're right here. I could easily do that. Do you want to actually kind of want to do it just to say I did it? I think it's an achievement for it too. And then I'll put a transform. Former. Right here actually would be perfect. It'll hook up everything and it'll connect these two as well. We have 16 colonists infected with some unknown thing. But also, we're getting to a point where the colony is at a size. Statistically, there's always going to be somebody sick, I think. I think that no matter what I do, somebody's going to be needing to visit medical for some reason. Um, also seeing that this area will need a heater the next time a winter storm comes in. Well, unless I heat the houses. My components did drop considerably during this video. I think uh, I started off with 800. I'm down to about 250. So I do want to get that number going back up a little bit. I, I realized I had them, I used them, and now I need them again. So my parts dropped very, very rapidly. I've got 57 electronics. So... Note, I've got a ton of plastic and a total wood. So, I'm going to wrap up the video the same way I started this video. I'm going to wrap up this video, or I'm going to end this video. Oh, damn it. I'm going to start this video the same way I started. English, Steve, do you speak it? I'm going to start the next video the same way I started this one by doing some trade menus. I'm going to close up by reading this Burning Skies quest. During the first years after the initial incident... Airplanes often turned into flying coffins as electromagnetic pulses and magnetic storms. All right, next video. 
I will go investigate the plane. I'm going to do some more trades to get some more stuff coming our way. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.